So many people say, how do you keep the passion alive? Keeping the passion alive is code language for women is, how do you keep the romance alive? And for men, it's often, how do you keep having sex with your partner? And for, it can go the other way for both. But generally speaking, that is the war of the sexes, is that women want romance and then they feel sexual. And for men, when women are responsive sexually, then men want to be romantic. It's a give and take. It's like one goes, starts from the head. The woman says, okay, show, look, see me, hear me, touch me, kiss me, and then my body responds. And to a man, you touch him anywhere and it goes south right away. All roads lead to Rome. <laughs> So for a man, sex is so, so critical to a man's well-being. And love and affection and warmth and romance is so critical to a woman's well-being, particularly in today's world where we're so stressed. The hormones of oxytocin is what allows a woman to respond, but she literally needs stimulation for that to happen. Men don't need much stimulation for testosterone to release into sex. So men are like walking around wanting it, and women are like, I'm looking for the romance first, then they can have the sex. So often men make a big deal out of this because they go, why doesn't she want sex with me? I mean, it's a simple thing. Why can't she want it? And men end up feeling rejected only because they don't understand women. It's not that she's saying she doesn't want sex. She's saying, I'd love to have sex, but I need certain stimulation before I can get there. And that's called romance. So how do you keep the romance alive? Three basic skills. One is dates. The same things you did when you were dating are the things that create romance. It's just men stop doing that. Once you're no longer competing with other men, you wait to the last minute and say, what do you want to do tonight? When you were dating, you had to plan ahead, otherwise somebody else might take her out. But it's that planning ahead that allows a woman to build those hormones of romance. So planning ahead a date every week, also good communication. When women feel they can share themselves, their feelings, they feel heard, they feel seen. This produces the hormones that allow her to to feel sexually responsive. So good communication. Also for a man to really be there for her, if she needs help, she has to learn how to ask for it to motivate him to do it. So she feels like whenever I need help, he's there. In a sense, he's the emergency man. He also is a good listener. He understands where I'm coming from. And also sometimes he can be very romantic. But she has to be a co-participant in that. She has to learn how to communicate ways where he'll listen. Here's one skill. Honey, I just want to give you a download of my day. Only take 10 minutes. You don't have to say anything. Just look my direction and you'll know what's going on in my life. And I really don't want you to fix anything. Who does that? But if you do that, a guy goes, okay, I can do that. And he'll just sit there and listen. And the secret is he'll get closer inside of you than he's ever been before. You know, after we got good at this kind of conversation, I call it Venus talk. When my wife talks, I get turned on. It's an amazing thing. And if I'm getting turned on her talking, she is too. So this is some of the secrets. We have to learn new skills to keep romance going. If we think it's gonna happen automatic, it won't. That's the biggest mistake we make because in the beginning of a relationship, we didn't have to do anything. The newness stimulates the hormones of romance. But after a few years, you have to do things to stimulate those hormones, the right hormones for her, the right hormones for him. So it's learning how for women to ask what they want and get it and for, to motivate men and for men to follow through and provide the extra support women need to be in the mood. Because for him, it's like automatic. Until he's in his 50s and he loses interest and it's generally the woman who's saying, where's the sex, where's the sex? And this is all about having the relationship skills that will produce the right hormones so that we want to have sex and we can enjoy sex.